Hi guys. My name is uh, Guy Duek. I'm uh, working, coming from Safe Charge alongside me, Imri uh, Meir. In my uh, role, I'm uh, looking after the client relationship function at Safe Charge. Um, alongside me, Imri, who leads the uh, product and the gaming verticals at Safe Charge. In both of our uh, history, we are um, have uh, experience in the merchant side of the gambling industry. I used to work for a uh, rank group and Imre used to work for William Hill and triple eight. Um, so let's kick off on our, on our uh, presentation. Uh, unfortunately due to, due to COVID-19, we're going through some challenging times, which resulting in a, a reduction of activity in for quite a few verticals. So you'll see it in uh, obviously travel uh, and all the events uh, arena, like sports book and, uh, and ticketing service. This obviously highlights the need to run uh, our business uh, as smoothly and efficiently as possible. And um, today we will try and cover a few topics that uh, we believe you should invest in to ensure that you're maximizing your uh, uh, revenue and minimize uh, uh, your costs. Um, we're talking about building the right trust between yourself and the players and minimizing frictions, some uh, best practices on uh, how to recover the client transaction. Um, as well as the constant monitoring cycle. Bottom line first, uh, for merchants that we saw that implemented these tools, uh, we see an improvement in excess of 20% of uh, the level of user abandonment on the overall conversion in their payment pages. So let's kick off with the first item. Um, the first item is obviously about building the trust with the user. We believe that there is quite a few best practices that the businesses should implement and uh, it should be treated um, as a mechanism to revenue ge to generate uh, revenue and uh, repeated users. And we believe that we can achieve 15% uh, reduction in uh, payment page abandonment. So uh, what does trust between the merchant and the shopper means and how can you build and improve it? So first of all, localization. While you are operating a global and international business, you need to keep local look and feel of your website and most important, the cashier. In order to achieve it, there are a few important components that you should address. The first one is language. When you have a, a Spanish user, and as an example, he is expecting to see your website and the cashier in his own language. And it's very, very important in order to reduce friction and make the deposit flow more fluent. Another important topic is local payment method, offering and order. You need to make sure that you are offering the right payment method in the right country uh, and put it in the right location. So for example, in Germany, you would like to put a payment method like Sofort and GyroPay on the top position because this payment method is the payment method that the users are used to, to make a deposit with. Another important uh, topic is currency. Make sure you support local currency. It will increase deposit amount. It will reduce the user, the user friction, and it can also generate an extra revenue stream for you by using dynamic currency conversion. Um, another localization topic that you need to address is the currency symbol location. In US dollar and euro, for example, the currency sign is displayed on the left side of the amount. While in Thailand, Czech Republic, Russia, Sweden, and other countries, it's actually displayed on the right side of the amount. To give a local and professional feeling of uh, on professional feeling, you need to place the currency amount in the right location. Um, another topic regarding the amount is the comma and period location. In English, the thousand separators is a, is a, a, is a comma and the decimal point is a period. While in German, Italian, and Spanish, it's actually the other way around. So the thousand separator is a period and the decimal point is actually a comma. So you need to make sure that you, you display it in the right way, because if you display the English format, 
to an Italian or Spanish cost customer, they can it can cause confusion, misunderstanding, and it also can look unprofessional, which many times will result in deposit abandonment. The last important topic here is quick withdrawal payment. Um, by using payment method like Visa Direct for payment of, of winnings, you can reduce the dramatically the time it takes to make a withdrawal, and it can build the trust between the user and the between the user and the merchant. So that brings us to uh, to the second uh, topic. So after we build the trust, uh, the other uh, the, the second layer is, is to minimize the user friction and maximize the ease of use, and that's. Um, it, it kind of highlights the importance of choosing the right tools and or partners that can help you achieve that. Um, we believe that you can maximize uh, your overall conversion as a result, and as a result, your revenue by, by uh, choosing these uh, right tools and features that we're gonna go through in a minute. Um, these features we believe can maximize your conversion by between five and 8%. So again, uh, not uh, meaningless uh, um, uh, figures. So the deposit the deposits stage is where you see the biggest um, acquisition drop, and therefore it is extremely important to make this step as easy and frictionless as possible to the user. So how can you achieve it? First of all, there are some industry's best, best practices that you should support. For example, quick deposit, which is a lighter version of the cashier, including only the payment method which the user has already been used and can uh, allow him to make a quick deposit in only few steps. Reverse withdrawal is the ability for the user to cancel the withdrawal transaction before it been processed instead of performing additional deposit, which will result in a quicker way um, to adjust the user balance. Support one-click payment method. This is extremely important that you offer solution like PayPal reference transaction, Skrill one tap, Apple Pay, Google Pay, and other, in order to improve the mobile channel user experience. And this item will become more and more important when PSD2 and strong customer authentication will come into play. And this payment method will um, will allow user to have a frictionless uh, deposit mechanism. Um, platform agnostic cashier. It is very important to support all devices and provide users with the best user experience in each device and operating system. It means that you need to adjust the cashier design to the device, if it's mobile, desktop, or tablet, and to the operating system. So if it's Android and iOS. Um, and provide the user with the best experience in, it, in the device that they are using. Another important topic here is the 3D management. When do you use 3D? And here it's become a question between conversion and fraud management, and it's very important to address it properly. Um, in order to, um, to reduce, to improve the user experience, there is functionalities and products that it's important that you will use in order to create a um, seamless uh, experience of deposit. The first one is account updater, which is offered by Visa and MasterCard and allow you to update the user card number um, automatically without the user has to enter it manually. So for example, when a user has a card that is been expired, you will get the information from Visa and MasterCard on the new expiration date and can display to the user instead of the user having to enter it manually. Another important solution is scan card. In the mobile device, for example, you can offer user the ability to scan his card, read all the information from the card and display it in the cashier in order to offer user a frictionless deposit flow. There is an important product um, that we called pay by link, which can, uh, can help you with declines and also promotion. In this uh, solution, you can send the user a link directly to the cashier 
um, of this uh, player. And when the player getting a decline, for example, you can send him a message through WhatsApp or text. And when, once the user will click on this message, you will go directly to his cashier page and can complete the transaction from the place he left the cashier. Another option here can be a promotion where, for example, you want to do a promotion for a specific game. You can send your user a campaign, let's say in Twitter, with the link to go directly to the cashier. Instead of having to go to a landing page and making a login, and this will reduce the amount of abandonment in this um, campaign and improve dramatically the result. The last important uh, topic here in this section is the A-B testing. It is very important and it's the best tool to improve and measure the user journey. You need, by this, you, need, you will see what works better and what is performing a better conversion. And you need to remember that what will work in one country might not work in other country. That's why it's very important to measure the performance per country and measure it all the time. Thank you, uh, Imri. Uh, so if so far we've discussed, the, I guess, the pre-transaction or pre-deposit areas, uh, we'd like to draw your attention to some of the best practices that uh, you can implement around uh, recovering the, the deposit attempts that were declines. So we have uh, quite a few decline recovery features and such features can uh, easily increase your conversion between uh, five and 8%. Uh, and obviously, this is uh, um, features that need to be enabled in your payment page or through your uh, payment partner. Okay, so um, how to reduce payment declines and improve deposit volume and conversion? The first and very important topic here is traffic management. How you then in traffic management, there is few aspects. The first one is routing. Routing is the, uh, the ability to route traffic between different acquirers because different acquirers can provide different performance in each jurisdiction and have a different way um, to send a transaction to, to the issuer. And that's why it's very important that you can route tran transaction between the acquirers. Another important topic here is cascading. So for example, once you get a decline with one acquirer, uh, for example, if the acquirer is down, you can cascade a transaction to, additional, uh, to a different acquirer, and you might get an approve on a transaction that would have gotten declined uh, by the previous acquirer. Um, and here also, again, there is a, the importance of how you manage the 3D traffic and how you optimize issuer performance. And this item will become more and more important in PSD2 once most of the traffic will go through 3D and it's very, it will become very important to optimize the, the issuer performance. And another important uh, solution that uh, can be offered here is partial approval. There is some cases that you send a transaction, for example, let's say if, uh, you send a transaction of 50 pounds, but the, but the issuer uh, is not accepting this transaction and will accept the transaction on a lower amount, um, let's say 20 pounds. In this case, um, SafeCharge, for example, can take this information and offer the user to change his deposit amount from 50 to 20. And the end user can decide if he want to continue or not. If they, if they decide to continue, you actually manage to save a decline transaction and make it an approved transaction for a lower amount. This tool can uh, help you to increase the conversion and reduce decline. Another important topic here is how to handle decline. So if a transaction got a decline, it's extremely important to give the user choice. And here it comes it come to effect a product we call decline recovery. So once you get a decline, you can provide alternative method to the end user in order to recover the decline. So for example, the user tried to deposit with a card 
you can offer him to go and deposit with PayPal or to buy an offline voucher in order to complete the transaction. And the last important topic here is provide detailed information on the decline reason, why the transaction is being declined, being transparent with the user, and also important is to give the user the information on what they need to do in order to resolve this decline. Thank you, Imri. Um, so we, we had effectively three important topics. It started from uh, building the right trust between you and the player. Um, it, it continued with uh, minimizing the frictions to minimize the abandonment rate. And then uh, it completes with a uh, post-transaction management, how you deal with decline recoveries and these sort of areas. We believe that each topic can, can achieve between uh, if we talk about five to eight percent in the through the the car recovery tools, another fifteen percent by uh, minimize the cart abandonment in the by building the right trust and repeated users, and obviously all the if you think about all the increase in volume that you can get from uh, partial approval and the car account updates and stuff like that, but this is this is not the complete picture. This is kind of uh, I guess three quarter of the cycle, so you have the the pre-transactions, uh, the, the building the trust, the first impression, you then have the, the minimizing frictions, then you have the post-decline post the recovery features. But so on monitoring, as Guy mentioned, this is a, an extremely important point in order to uh, increase conversion. And um, you need to make sure you are um, looking at the, the different error code and uh, monitor your traffic on a issuer level and many times on a bin level in order to understand um, how to perform better, which acquirer is performing better and what is the right way to, to send the transaction in order to improve conversion. So sometimes you better send the transaction in 3D, sometimes it's better not to send it through 3D and it's extremely important that you can take um, a proactive role here to understand how to improve the conversion, what error did you get, and how you can improve it. It's very important that your payment partner will give you visibility to all the errors uh, and will give it in a way that you can uh, be proactive. So, for example, send it, send alert to your mobile device um, or allow you to get the right reporting in order to, to look at the declines uh, to understand what went wrong, if something went wrong, and how you can improve it. Thank you, Imri. So um, this this is uh, the, the the topics you want to run through. You now I want to open it to the audience uh, and see if we have any questions uh, that we can uh, answer. Um, so I'll I'll give it um, a minute or so to see if any questions comes along, uh, and we can uh, try and answer as much as we can. Um, so no, no questions yet. Um, so I think our, our session is about uh, to end, unfortunately. Um, what I do rec recommend you, if you have any questions, uh, obviously feel free to reach out to your payment partner. And if, uh, and obviously, if you don't get the right answers, you can always uh, reach out myself and Imri will try to support you as much as we can. Uh, I would like to thank you for um, coming and joining us this uh, afternoon. And I want to wish you all the best. Stay safe. Uh, and we'll be in touch. Thank you very much.